Welcome back, everybody. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at my, you know, what I call an inch bag, but some people may call a bug out bag, but whatever you want to call it, this, this is the bag that if I need to head out for any reason, this is what I'm going to be taking, okay? Um, first of all, a few disclaimers to begin with, real quick here. This is set up for my needs, for my plan, in my location, okay? Everybody's will be different, so I probably don't have things that you think would be better to have, okay? But what I have in here is what I would want to have, need to have, like to have, etc., etc., okay? Stuff in here, you know, I've used, I, I, it's trusted, I know what it is, okay? So, like I said, y'all's may be different, we'll see. Now, also, that being said, this is a very large rucksack, okay? This is not a lightweight, 15-pound, you know, run and gun and jump and dive and dodge and kick doors in and fight. That's not what this is, okay? And also, with that being said, am I going to throw this on and go, you know, road march for a hundred miles? No, I am not. That is not the intention of this bag. However, it does have the capability to do so if that's what I decide I need to do. So, anyway, with that being said, uh, always good with suggestions in the comments, but I don't need a thousand people saying, that's too heavy, did, did, did. I can carry this bag, okay? Believe me, I can carry this bag. So, alright, now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. So, this is obviously going to be set up for maximum, you know, uh, what's the word I should say, for uh, the worst outcome, okay? So, that being said, every situation may not need everything in this bag. But it is loaded for a complete worst case, okay? So that way, if I do grab this bag and walk out my door and never return home, I'm going to live pretty comfortably, you know, and have everything I need. Now, of course, along the way, if I find I don't need things or if I need to drop things for, you know, weight reasons, so be it. I can do that. All right, so first off, I do have... Okay, I guess first off, this is the USMC ILBE, which is the Improved Load Bearing Equipment rucksack uh, the Marines used. And this is not in, uh, not in use by them anymore. That's why it can be found, you know, on the uh, surplus market. Now, the reason why they got rid of this bag is it does not work well with their armor that they had adopted so instead of just changing the bag a little bit or you know doing an add-on to make it better they just scrapped it and went you know with the FILBE so anyways but I like it it works great for me it's a super tough pack um, they can be picked up relatively cheap I guess I don't know if I call it cheap, I guess, but um, cheaper than, you know, some of the other things, you know, like, say, Everly Stock or whatever, whatever. You know, those bags can get several, several hundreds of dollars, which this whole setup right here is not a cheap setup at all. But anyway, so I do have the uh, hydration pack and... I don't have everything attached, like obviously this wasn't attached. I don't have all my straps stowed yet because this is part of it. I'm going to go through this, make sure I got everything in here I want, get rid of anything I don't. Because I did take this to the field just, uh, I don't know, a couple, week or two ago and, uh, you know, did some stuff with it. So I want to just make sure I've got everything back in it, etc., etc. So, 
like I said, this is a very large pack. Uh, I didn't look up the exact, like, liter, you know, capacity on it, but it's a lot. It's like, I can't even remember, but it's like 85 or 95 or something like that. And then I have the recon pouches on the side, which make it even more. So, I guess first things first, and I just want to kind of show you my items in here as well. More so than the pack itself. If you guys are interested in that, we can always get into that and do that. So, anyway, let's get this assault pack. So, obviously it comes with the ability to attach an assault pack to it. And they make a couple different uh, a couple different assault packs that can be attached to this. I just have your regular uh, regular assault pack that they what they call it. And on each side there is a canteen carrier. So besides the uh, hydration carrier, there's both of those, and they have pockets. On the side of these, which house a lighter and just a couple of the tender quick, no big deal. And then on the other side, it's going to have your water purification tablets, etc. Both of these have the exact same thing in them, so it doesn't matter which one I go to, they're both in there. Front pocket on the assault pack, right on the outside of this pouch is wet weather gear. Tops and bottoms, uh, nice and easy to get to. Even while it's stowed, you can still reach this pocket very easily. Now, inside, got some uh, extra Mountain House meals here, because like I said, I do have this thing pretty well loaded to head out. Okay. Also in here, jungle mosquito net. That's going to be a double cot, you know, double cot size uh, bug net right there for your shelter. Dry bag here. Inside this dry bag, I have a solar panel, a bigger one, you know, just a cheapy one no big deal it does work good though and then I also have complete guide to edible wild plants that's a good thing to know I don't know everything that's edible and then here I've got the uh, Baofeng radio and this one has the rechargeable battery pack on it but I also have the AA battery pack that can be put in it and then, of course, all of my uh, local frequencies wrote down on here, even though they are uh, programmed into the radio, it's still good to have a backup copy just in case something happens, whatever the case may be. So, i got those there. Alright, keeping on. The uh, large, super large antenna, tactical antenna they call it. And then in the bottom of that, which I'm not going to pull it out, which is not that big of a deal, but in the bottom of that is another uh, small tarp. It's one of the one of the ones with the silver coating on the back, the orange one. You know, you can get them different places. But that's just in there and I've got lots of different shelter elements in here because you know you don't know what you're going to need to do necessarily you know you, one shelter isn't really good for everything you know and I, I don't use a tent because it's just not versatile enough for me so this pack does have a removable lid here and these packs are just 
made out of, you know, really tough Kadura nylon, and I mean, they are just awesome packs, and you know, even, I mean, you can see the size, whoops, you can see the size of the zippers there, I mean, they're huge, all the zippers have uh, these rubber hose kind of handles on them, so they're easy to grab and manipulate, even with gloves on. So, in my lid pouch here, Shimog, couple uh, real quick and easy eat on the run deals, antibacterial wet wipes, and then just regular flushable wipes. Never know when you might need to get to that. Inside this dry bag, I don't know if I really need to open it, but inside here is one of the solar battery bank charger deals. All the cords for lights, phones, whatever, whatever, you name it, it's all inside that. Oh, another little quick grab and go deal. A protein oatmeal pie. Pretty good, actually, I think. My uh, work sharp field sharpener. Gotta have a way to sharpen. And inside this little dry bag is all batteries. Uh, you know, replacements for headlamps, flashlights, radios, etc., etc., inside that bag. And let's see what's in this one. I don't remember right offhand. Okay, I do now. So, in here we have a compass, sewing kit, extra pair of glasses, because I do wear contacts. There is a handkerchief, head net, little camouflage face paint, just in case. You would need it for who knows what. Probably nothing, honestly. This is all probably a waste of time, but who knows, maybe not. But I mean, I guess it's not really a waste of time because unlike most people, I do actually uh, go out to the woods and uh, go camping and such, and this is what I take. I, I just grab my bag and I go. And I simulate the best of my ability, because of course you're not going to be able to simulate a perfect SHTF situation, but I mean simulate it the best I can, as in grab my bag and take off to the woods and spend a day two, however long, you know. Alright, now, on the front here... These are some RevVision goggles, you know, those style there. Really nice goggles, actually, and they're not super expensive. And I mean, eye protection is paramount, you know, and uh, just a little pair of safety glasses is good, but something that is ballistic rated and covers all of your eyes, you know, top, bottom, all of it, is much better and much more logical. All right, so in this little pouch, and again, like I said, I'm, I'm going through this now, so I figured now's a good time as any to shoot this video, but I am gonna streamline and take some of this stuff out because it's not all really necessary. Uh, I kind of put it all together thinking this is what I, would probably need, but, you know, after going out and using this particular bag a few times, you just don't need it, really. There's a lot of stuff you just don't need. So, it's kind of like this bug spray. This is almost pointless to have. Um, obviously, whatever clothes I'm going to wear, you know, I, I use permethrin, which if you've never tried that, you should definitely try way better than dealing with this. I mean, I guess this is still good to have, but you just don't really need it if you've got 
the permethrin. So inside this bag just has a few little odds and ends there. Some muscle rub, some uh, sunscreen. Let's see, there's a uh, there's a lighter in here that I have attached to a ferro rod that is attached to this bag. So I mean, you're not able to lose it. It's a four directions quadratum, I think is what they call that. Nice stuff, but and then of course lighter and a waterproof case dummy corded to that too. Works fine. It's always good to have your stuff like that dummy corded, honestly. I mean, there's really no reason not to. Uh, let's see what else we had. A couple, just a couple, literally a couple tarp clips. That's about the only tarp clips I have in here. Uh, let's see, another bag here. Looks like some more uh, sunscreen, a little bit of hand sanitizer, and some uh, lip balm. What else? Not card in there, just in case I happen to forget what I'm wanting to tie while I'm out there. Let's see, got a little bit, just a little bit of the smaller size bank line. I can't remember exactly what number it is, but, and then a little baby Sharpie in there too, so. take care of that portion. Oh my, so much stuff in this thing, it's crazy. But, you know, realistically, and when I say a serious setup, that's kind of what I'm meaning, you know, I mean, you gotta think, if you're taking off, never coming back home again, you aren't gonna be able to take just a little, you know, grade schooler's backpack full of you know, Twix bars and, you know, flashlights and whatever, whatever, and survive. I mean, <laughs> the people that think that is very, very obvious. They have never went out and tried anything. It's very clear because they'd find out real fast that that little old tiny, you know, four by six tarp they have, that ain't going to do nothing. That is not going to do a thing. You are going to freeze to death, be soaking wet, and dead within a day or two. That's just all there is to it. So on this side, I've marked these uh, pulls right here with just a little bit of red electrical tape. And the other side, I've got marked with blue electrical tape. Reason being, that'll tell me what's in what side real quick. So this side being it's red... You would think that means fire, but it doesn't mean fire. That means medical, okay? So as soon as I open that up, I got a little can of some little Jack Link's jerky there. Kind of not really necessary, but it tastes kind of good. Little roll of TP there. And then, of course, just right here on top, you know, is the... Full medical kit which I'm not gonna open up and go through every single kit they're primarily the same that well I shouldn't say that they have changed since the ones I did like a year ago or whatever everything has changed since then so if you guys want to know more about those ask me we'll do it okay so then in the bottom in the bottom of this bag here Got a roll of the plastic drop cloth for making super shelters or whatever. Make whatever you want out of. And then on the very bottom, which sets in there like that, two of the 55 gallon drum liners for, you know, making whatever you need. I don't need to make mattresses out of them, though, because we'll get to that a little later. So anyway, there's that. And of course, that pocket is far from full. It could hold a lot more stuff. On the outside, here on the, uh, 
guess I could have turned it around where you can see a little better. On the outside here, another uh, little bar, glow stick, and just a couple more bars there. You know, a lot of a lot of quick eat on the go on the go stuff. I mean, I do have more regular, you know, not regular food necessarily, but mountain house and such inside the bag, but that stuff there, you know, you just kind of want quick grab and go and on your way. Alright, going around, got the blue poles there. So like I said, blue poles is going to denote water. Alright, so opening up here, right away I've got this little mesh pouch, okay. And that's what I keep my Sawyer Mini in. And I've also got some of the coffee filters in here. Uh, the Sawyer Mini itself. You know, the back flush syringe, which could be used for medical purposes as well. The straw, the bag. I do want to get the better, uh, the Senoc bag or whatever that's way better because these bags are prone to fail. So I do want to get that. I just haven't yet. Also, some of the uh, medical tubing here. Or, I'm sorry, not medical tubing, but the uh, rubber tubing. Which could be used for medical purposes as well. But it can also be hooked up to this. Because it will fit on these on either side to where you can rig yourself up a gravity flow system. Or if the water is, you know below you and you're up on top of a bank and you don't want to have to try to climb down there and get it, you can just let that hose go on down into the water, suck it up, good to go. <clears throat> okay, and on this side I do have just a cheap pair of binoculars. Uh, nothing special here. They do work though. They work pretty good. They're uh, just some Walmart Special Tasco 16 by 32. Let's see what else. Okay. Couple of eating implements there. Got a long handled spoon and the K bar spork there. Which really that stuff needs to be elsewhere, but it isn't. One of the little cheap uh, emergency ponchos. Which incidentally. I guess I need to probably speak about, not during this video I so much, but speak about like your pocket carry. I, I don't want to say EDC because it's not an EDC type thing, but when you put your clothes on to go, obviously I have items in those pockets such as, you know, an emergency blanket and a poncho and, you know, some medical supplies and fire, etc., etc. on those clothes, so... Anyway, moving right along, this right here is just going to be a hygiene kit. Yep, that's all that's in there. No big deal. Okay. And then here, obviously a metal cup with a couple of bandanas. But then I also use the Grail, and this one is the, uh, can't remember, it's the Sport, I think, or whatever they call it. They've got a different name for it, but this here is an awesome water filter, okay? So you just take your cup here, dip up the water, then, you know, you just literally press. It takes like... 10 seconds to strain it all through and then once it does you've got good clean water in there that you can either pour out you know to fill your canteens or your hydration pack or whatever you like so that's a real nice option to have but you need you need a metal cup with you too and obviously I would intend on bringing my water bottle kit with me as well but just in case that didn't happen, at least you would have a little bit of a cup. I mean, that wouldn't be great, you know, for 
having to boil water to put in the mountain house, etc., etc. There's better options, but that's what I got in here. So, moving along down through here. What do we have here? A baklava. Okay, an extra filter here for the grill. Map. Oh, and here we've got a piece of uh, a piece of American history. Check that out there. Yeah, that's a piece of American history there. Most people don't even know what that is. Don't want to get started on that. Okay, and then moving on down in here, got some glucose tablets, okay? Not diabetic, but they're kind of good to have around, you know. And then a uh, vial of crack. No, just kidding, that's salt. A little vial of salt there, because salt's good to have. It's something that's pretty hard to find in nature, actually, is salt. And also in the outside here, Another little head net. I mean, these things are super light. Might as well carry them with you. You can use them for a lot of different things. You could make a fish trap out of it if you had to. You could, uh, you know, pre-filter your water before you're putting it in your vessel if it's really scummy. You know, why not carry it? I mean, it's literally nothing. And then just a couple more of those real chintzy ponchos. Yeah, is it kind of overkill on those? Probably, but unfortunately, I'm not carrying just for myself. You're kind of always carrying for somebody else, it seems. So there is that. All right. We'll turn this around. So... On here, this is why it doesn't work well with armor. Kind of a rounded back there. If it was rounded the other way, it would work good with armor. But the way it is rounded doesn't work so good. It does have real nice grab handles there, though. But not a lot on this part of it. Just have uh, that little battle box compass there. Because it's actually kind of neat. No matter which way you turn it, it is going to point right for you. That's cool. And then over here, just the little Olight, what is this, I1R2 EOS, just right there on the shoulder strap, nice and easy to get to. Now, I have added these belt pockets, I don't know if you can really see those very well, but not a whole lot in them. Do have my headlamp in there, it's the Parent 2 Olight. Awesome headlamp. Definitely overkill. And then in my other pouch, the other side, I've got a regular Bic lighter that's been uh, banded so it can't be pressed. Little Ranger band on it there. I5T EOS and my Exotac Titan light, which is just a refillable lighter, and it's something that uh, probably would get discarded once it ran out of fluid. Well, actually, that's not true. I've got a little bottle of fluid down inside of here, and otherwise, in here, not a lot more, just a couple little glow sticks and my uh, Victorinox 178 which that would go directly into my pocket you know if I were to have to take out I just keep it right here that way I know I've got it which also you know on my belt I would have my uh, white river knives versus 45 I would have that on my belt as my fixed blade and on my belt I would also have my Leatherman Surge Amongst other things that will not be mentioned because YouTube does not like that sort of thing. Which that is something you won't see in this bag is any kind of defensive type items. Do YouTube.
Okay. And we've got a nice uh, buckle across the top. Nice big storm flap here. Alright, as soon as we get right into the top here, I've got my standalone survival kit, which again, not going to go completely into, but if you guys would like me to, I will in another video. So I've got that right on top, in case I just absolutely have to drop everything and have no choice but to take this. You know, can't even take the assault pack, just got to take one thing, you know, I'm at camp and I'm all set up, you know, and just chilling and boom, got to run out of there. Whatever the case may be, as long as I've got this, I'd be good to go. You know, there's some medical, there's some shelter, there's some fire, there's blah, 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 blah. Okay, all in there. Alright. Next is the food procurement kit. It says fishing, but it does a lot more than that. I mean, this thing's got, you know, limb lines, hand cast lines, lures, some lures, just a little, uh, little stringer in there, all that good stuff, you know, auto reels, speed hooks, I mean, all that good jazz in that kit, okay? This, medications, okay, you know, your Tylenol, your ibuprofen, your daily meds, all that good stuff in this kit right here, okay, and this dry bag, clothes, okay, so that's your, you know, your change of clothes, your change of underclothes, actually two sets of underclothes, you know, underwear and socks, Okay, so that would leave me with three pairs of socks, the ones I'm wearing plus two spares, okay? That's pretty good to go. Okay. In this container, or not, not a container, this is a bag, which actually it's the bag my rain gear came in, but, oops. But uh, it turned out to be a good bag for my cook pot. That way it doesn't get everything all black. I've been able to keep it somewhat clean. Uh, you can see there it's not, <laughs> not super clean, but that's okay. I don't care if it is. Um, inside of this is my actual fire kit. It's inside of here in a dry bag inside this. And also inside here is a few more... Uh, food things, you know, I've got some uh, milk, some powdered milk, some, uh, what else, some, you know, powder, just a little bit of powdered potatoes, not much, just one of those single serve packs or whatever, but, so that's what that is, because you got to have a cooking pot, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to have to have something decent with you. You know, like, like these uh, little deals here, these little Stanley cook cups here, they're great, you know, but for a long term, never coming home again, what I've got is all I've got. This isn't going to do it. I mean, you can't cook a whole possum in that. How are you going to cook a possum in that? That ain't going to do. You're going to have to have something a little bigger. So, but at the very minimum, have this, you know, and. One of these deals, like this little, uh, uh, whatever that's called, little mess kit there, you know, I mean, that's just got that little tiny skillet. That is not going to do it for taking off, never coming back. That is not going to do it. You got to have something bigger. Get yourself a real pot. Okay. Alright, so got myself one of these uh, Lucy lights. They're actually pretty cool. I'm sure you guys seen them before. They blow up into like a big cylinder. They're solar powered only. There's no way to charge this other than solar. They run for about, I think it only lasts about eight hours, truth be told. Maybe, maybe a little less than that, honestly. I can't remember. I didn't time it. I know that... Uh, Last time I used it, it ran for 
at least six hours that I know for sure, and then the next time when I woke up, it wasn't on. So at least six hours out of that, so not bad. Let's pull some other things out first. So on the side here, have some nice large pass-through pockets. Silky Big Boy, must have, okay? Those little pocket chainsaws, garbage. Don't even mess with it. You can't, you can't survive on that, okay? If you're going on a little weekend camp trip, that might be fine. Get you a saw, get you a real saw. Doesn't have to be that one, but get you a good saw. And... The Condor Bushcraft Parang. This right here is an outstanding woods tool. If, uh, you know, you want a tool for doing stuff in the woods, that's it. That is it. All, all you need is this right here. This right here will do everything you need to do, period. You don't need an axe, you don't need a hatchet, this is it, this is all you need, right here, these three tools, and you can do anything you want to do in the woods, because this saw, oh, you see all the sawdust fly off of there, this saw is a big saw, now you can cut down some pretty serious trees with this if you so chose, tilt that baby back, so here, That is my AquaQuest Defender tarp. And inside here I've got a quick deploy ridge line and tent stakes. Got four of them in there, that's all I need. Um, and of course the tarp itself is ready to go. It's already got, you know, lines attached to it, everything good to go. Awesome tarp right here. If you want a real good tarp that's gonna last you, Aqua Quest, way to go. Alright, so that's a full MMS sleep system. That's that's a liner, the jungle bag, the winter bag, and the bivy, the Gore-Tex bivy, all in there. That's a pretty small package. I don't leave it like that. I actually uh I leave it more expanded, but put it in here like I said last week or whatever and that's where it's been but it's hard to have your bag ready to go and not have this you know compressed and put in it so you kind of just gotta do what you gotta do down inside here okay got a little microfiber towel here with a couple of washcloths And then, down inside there, my Climate Static V uh, mattress. Must have item. You have to have some kind of mattress. Alright, and that's finally it. But not it for the bag, just it for what's in there. Does have these little side pouches here, which is those those pass-throughs and those pouches are made for mortars but I don't have mortars in them just got a little bit of bank line there oh there's some uh, pine needles okay got some leather gloves with some uh, jersey gloves inside them and that is my velcro to stow my straps, which I will do, but like I said, I took it all apart for this because I was going to redo things. So, other pocket. 100 foot of survivor cord. Well, actually, I took some off. I think it's probably like 90 foot of the survivor cord. That's got the brass wire in it, the fishing wire, the uh, fire starting strand. 
another 100 foot hank uh, paracord um, and this is the uh, kind that's the same thing as that just this is the cheaper version but it works great and that's it that is finally all of it wow what a massive pack and you know it probably looked to y'all like there wasn't any room left in that but there actually was more room in there and what did it weigh in at uh dry without you know water or uh, any kind of defensive elements i believe it was right around 52 pounds i think something like that heavy pack but i mean that's what it's gonna take you know if you're gonna have to live that's what it's gonna take you know it's like on this mss okay the way it sets right now if i wear proper clothing underneath you can go down they they claim obviously i've never had it that cold but not as cold as i'm about to say but they claim with the proper attire you can go down to negative 30 with this bag now like i said i haven't went that cold but you know it's not like i can just bring the lightest piece of it because then you're not going down to those temperatures in my area we get down to zero it doesn't stay that way for months but it does get down to that temperature so i like to have the equipment that i need to survive those types of situations now also you know the old saying well the more you know the less you carry hogwash that's garbage and the reason why I say that is, um, you know, I could construct a shelter out of debris and branches and tree limbs and leaves and all that stuff. So since I do know how to do that, that means I shouldn't carry a tarp, right? No. One more example. So... Again, I've got my drum liner trash bags in here. You know, I can fill that with pine straw or leaves or what have you. So I don't need a mattress, right? Negatory. I am not doing that. I will sacrifice to carry the weight to make things better. Now, if I got in a situation where I only had limited options, I could only take this assault pack, not the whole deal, and I had to make choices, then I would make choices at that time. So, hopefully, none of that ever happens, but, of course, we don't know you know what what we're going to deal with what we're going to come across what we're going to see so i guess basically all the more you know that i can say is make sure you're prepared for anything you may need to be prepared for i mean granted that's hard to do that's why you kind of end up with a bag like this that way pretty much anything happens you're good to go you know, and another thing that people don't always think about is this isn't just doom and gloom, worst case scenario, conspiracy theory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What if there's a storm? You know, I mean, it's just as simple as that. Tornadoes coming through. I grab this. I head to my shelter. I don't have to worry about grabbing anything else. It's one one grab done. I mean, as long as I've got this in my boots, that's all I need. I've got everything else right here. So, just a thought, but uh, I was needing to do an updated video because my other video is outdated. I've kind of changed things a lot since then, so wanted to do an updated, uh, updated video on that, so... Anyway, hopefully you uh, made it through the whole thing. I know it was long, but that's how it goes when you got a bag like this. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.